The remnants of Hurricane Barrel are about to bring even more problems to the United States over the next couple of days, and this includes the potential for more tornadoes and more flooding rainfall for parts of the United States from the Ohio Valley and Midwest back over into the Northeast. So in today's forecast, we're going to break down everything that you need to know about the tornado threat over the next 48 hours and why flooding rainfall will also be a problem with the remnants of Barrel. This is what Barrel looks like on the infrared imagery as of this morning, and notice right now there is a a lot of convection across areas in the Ohio Valley, especially across Arkansas and Missouri, where lots of rain fell last night, and we actually had flooding in areas like Joplin, Missouri yesterday. All of this is moving to the north and east, and we're going to continue to see problems in the Midwest today, as those areas are very saturated, as they've had a lot of rain this spring and summer, and they are expecting more rainfall today that could lead to even more flooding problems in the Midwest. Now, as this moves to the northeast, we're going to be watching for a tornado threat today, and as well well as tomorrow from the Ohio Valley back into the Northeast where I would not rule out another tornado outbreak today. We had a tornado outbreak yesterday and the setup isn't super different from today, but it is a little bit different. We'll talk more about that here in just a second. I want to point out that there's absolutely nothing right now happening west of Barrel right now. It is very dry. There's very little activity across the board. We had a couple of storms in New Mexico yesterday, very typical for this time of the year, but overall, actually not really that bad over in those areas. Now, I do want to point this out. These are all the tornado warnings that we had yesterday over in Texas, Louisiana, and Arkansas, or at least most of them. A few of them might not be on here, but this is the most recent updated map, basically, from yesterday. And again, notice how many tornado warnings we had just in northwest Louisiana and east Texas. It was bananas what we saw yesterday. And Jasper County, Texas, I think may have set a daily record for the amount of tornado warnings they had. They almost had a dozen tornado warnings yesterday. So really unbelievable stuff. We had at least a dozen tornadoes yesterday as well. Well, it was an extremely active day. We were live for eight hours here on YouTube. If you are watching us, you know it was absolutely crazy. We had about three or four different times where there were at least 10 tornado warnings happening at the same exact time. So really crazy event yesterday. It's one for the history books. We had over 90 tornado warnings issued yesterday, and the National Weather Service of Shreveport had a daily record at six, over 60 tornado warnings issued in a single day. Their previous record in a day was 38. So this was definitely one for the history books. There's just no other way to put it. It was an unbelievable event. Probably the craziest tornado outbreak coverage that we've had on the Max Velocity channel with any tropical storm or hurricane. So really, again, just crazy stuff yesterday. Now let's talk more about the severe weather threat for the next couple of days, and we will begin with today, which is tossing trampolines on Tacos Tuesday. Overall, we do have a marginal threat for severe weather in addition to a slight risk across parts of the Ohio Valley, and this is where the corridor for tornadoes is going to exist today for the remnants of barrel, what we have left of it. This is where the tornado threat will be. And today's slight risk is driven purely by tornadoes. Notice we have a 5% tornado risk across parts of Indiana, Kentucky, and as well as Illinois with a 2% that goes into Ohio. I do want to mention that these types of risks, again, with tropical cyclones and even remnants of tropical cyclones often do overperform. So I would not be surprised, again, if we do have at least a small-scale tornado outbreak today across the Ohio Valley. Similar to what we saw yesterday, by the way. Yesterday, we had a, uh, obviously, a, a pretty large scale, I'd say, a tornado outbreak from the remnants of Barrel, and obviously it was still a tropical storm, but it definitely overperformed over the forecast from yesterday. I do want to mention as well, there will be a chance for some isolated hail and wind in New England out of a few severe storms later this afternoon. In addition to that, we'll have another risk for tornadoes tomorrow with the remnants of Barrel as Barrel continues to move into areas like Canada, that low pressure system will set up shop and eventually lead to another potential for a few tornadoes across parts of New England, and a as well as back into New York, Pennsylvania, and even a sliver of Ohio and New Jersey, where another potential for a few tornadoes will exist. I do have to say, I think yesterday was the worst day for tornadoes. I think today will be a little bit less bad, and I think tomorrow will also be a little bit less bad. So I think overall, we're going to be going on the downtrend when it comes to this tornado risk. But overall, we are still going to be watching for tornadoes today, and as well as tomorrow, where we do have another 5% tornado risk across parts of New York, and as well as back into northern Pennsylvania. Something that I've never talked about on videos before, but something that we do use at least on live streams or at least show you guys is the NATO cast outlook. This is not an official storm prediction center outlook, but it basically accounts for algorithms and computer models all into one and kind of gives you an idea of where the greatest tornado threat will be. It uses a pretty similar scale as well to the storm prediction center for tornadoes. And notice it actually put a bullseye for like a moderate to even high risk for tornadoes yesterday in Northwest Louisiana, Southwest Arkansas, and East Texas. And I'm not saying this is always perfectly accurate 
accurate because it definitely isn't but this was actually very accurate yesterday and for today's threat they actually have a 10 percent corridor across parts of indiana even a little sliver of illinois and kentucky so overall i'm not really opposed to something like this today either i do personally think our greatest tornado threat will be in southern indiana near that triple point access that i'll be talking about more here about in just a second now, today's tornado threat is being set up, obviously, by the remnants of Barrel, and this is the low-level jet, and notice how it's going to be cranking out of the south and southwest this afternoon across parts of Tennessee and Kentucky, and this is what's going to elevate that tornado risk, I think especially across parts of southern Indiana and northwest Kentucky, where we are going to have that potential for a few tornadoes, and then as we go later into the evening and eventually into Wednesday, that low-level jet is going to be cranking back over in the northeast with even a southwesterly flow, and that should be able to ramp up this tornado threat for both New York and even Pennsylvania for Wednesday and guess what we're done with barrel after Thursday so good news there I am sick and tired of talking about barrel once we go into the weekend and eventually into next week things do look to be relatively quiet we'll probably at least get a severe weather event or two in the Midwest so the low level jet will try to crank a little bit but overall beyond that it looks to be pretty quiet for the United States at least no organized large scale severe weather events beyond today and tomorrow here are the hodographs which give you an idea of spin in the atmosphere for today the photographs are really crazy i mean if we have any storms that are discrete today they are going to have the capability of tornadoes we have a really serious amount of spin today with any area here in kentucky or even tennessee and even back into southern indiana and even southern ohio so any storms that can get going today in today's environment that stay discrete and also are a little bit larger scale like over 30 to forty thousand feet tall they will have the potential for tornadoes no doubt about that i think this tornado threat will be ongoing anywhere from about lunchtime today so around 12 probably all the way until 10 o'clock tonight with it probably peaking around four or five o'clock this afternoon somewhat similar to what we had yesterday tornado parameter values today they really start to get higher as we get closer to the mid to late afternoon across parts of southern illinois western kentucky and southern indiana the triple point today is going to be right about here in southern indiana so i do think our better shot for even maybe an isolated strong tornado would be in southern indiana today overall the risk for strong tornadoes is really low today it's not something that the storm prediction center outlined in the outlook this morning but it's something that i would not rule out similar to yesterday where we actually had a few pds tornadoes i wouldn't be shocked if we had one of those today here's what we're looking at for timing today we'll have a few showers out there this morning nothing really organized up until probably about one o'clock or so this afternoon back over near cape garardu south of carabindale and back over near jackson we will have the potential for a few of these storms to try to produce an isolated tornado threat i do think our best shot for tornadoes will be closer to about four o'clock with any storms that can stay discreet the ARRR model does show one of those being there in southern indiana which again is where i think the best chance for tornadoes will be today is going to be in that triple point access which notice again a couple cells looking like they're going to be rotating somewhere around there around five o'clock this afternoon on this projection and then by six to seven o'clock these storms are mostly in southern indiana and these are the ones that are being mainly producing the tornado threat by then we could still see an isolated tornado somewhere in tennessee or kentucky but i think really the main corridor today is where the storm prediction center outlined it to be in it's going to be in that five percent tornado risk right across southern indiana western and northwestern kentucky and southern illinois that's i think where the greatest potential will be today now once we go into tomorrow there's going to be a lot of spin again across parts of the northeast and notice again the hodographs for wednesday are just going to be crazy again lots of spin in the atmosphere not nearly as much as what we're going to have today but just a lot of spin in general which will lead to the potential for a few tornadoes with any storms that do remain discreet and even semi-discreet in some cases. So definitely make sure that you have a tornado action plan ready to go in the Northeast on Wednesday. Tornado parameter values really start to elevate as we go into the afternoon and evening. I think our best chance for tornadoes will be across parts of Western and Central New York. So definitely be ready if you are in those areas. Here's what the timing looks like for today. A few storms out there in New England, most of them just isolated hail and wind. Wednesday morning stays quiet. By the afternoon, we'll start to see some storms fire off. Tornado threat really starts to crank up around 12 to one o'clock and then eventually as we go throughout the afternoon any storms that do stay discreet will have the potential for a few tornadoes and eventually by the evening hours most of the storms become more linear in nature which will mean mostly just a wind threat with some hail and maybe some sort of brief tornado risk after sunset now beyond today i mentioned this a few minutes ago but overall the threat for massive severe weather events is going to be really low as we go into sunday into monday we're going to have a really strong ridge across the central and western tier of the country this 
This means that the weather pattern will stay active across the northern plains, the Midwest, and the Northeast. Meanwhile, many areas in the southern tier will stay very dry, very calm. So overall, any severe weather events for the next several days will be mostly confined to the northern plains, Midwest, and Northeast as we go into the weekend and as well as into early next week. But overall, weather looks to be a bit quieter beyond the weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already.